and welcome back to Marathon CrossFit here and today I would like to talk about how you can improve your vertical jump and how I personally did it. So basically the easiest, there are three ways to, uh, to improve your um, vertical jump. First is losing weight, second of all is improving technique and third of all is improving your um, strength to body weight um, ratio. So let's go about the first one, which is the simplest one, is losing weight. So if you're overweight, you can't jump that high. So if you want to jump higher, the easiest, just get rid of a couple of extra pounds. Because if you get rid of the extra pounds, usually your strength roughly stays the same. And then through the power output that you have, if I have an empty cup of coffee, it's easier to lift it than when it's full. Same goes for your body. If you lose your fat, then you will jump higher even though you're not getting stronger. So first of all, get lean if you want to increase your vertical jump. Second of all, technique. So I was particularly strong. I was also lean, but I didn't practice the box jump whatsoever. So when the vertical jump test in my local gym came around, I actually did abysmal, abysmal, abysmal. Like it was really abysmal. <laughs> no, abysmal. It was really a mediocre to um, breathtakingly bad experience because why? I never practiced jumping. So what I did was that I incorporated 21 box jumps as seven sets by three repetitions now in each of my workouts to warm, warm up. And that of course also helps to jump higher. I already added about that much to my vertical jump. Um, so currently I'm sitting at uh, 32 inches-ish for reps. So, you know, that's quite, kind, of, kind of a good result. And then the last one is, which is often overlooked. So yeah, you are uh, out on the, uh, on the track and field and you're doing the oval, you're doing your hurdles and whatnot, um, but you're not necessarily hitting the gym for the squat. So the stronger you get in the squat, the better your strength to body weight ratio will get and the higher you can jump. Now, you can debate whether you should do a back squat, a front squat, or a jump squat for, um, 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 you know, for, uh, uh, for improving the vertical jump. I leave that, and I leave that up to your strength coach and uh, your basketball or track and field coach to figure that out what works best for you. However, don't neglect your sessions in the gym where you actually focus on strength development so that you are more explosive off the ground. So these are the three things to improve the vertical jump. First of all, lose weight. That's the simplest one and where you have the most control over. Second one, improve technique. That can also only go to a certain extent where you get diminishing results. And then the third one is the improve your strength to body weight ratio by also getting stronger by doing a program like Stronglifts 5x5, Jim Bandler 5 the one a small squat routine. You find all of them reviewed in the description box down below on my blog. And I hope you enjoy the content. Please like, please subscribe, please share with your friends. And if you have any questions, please pop a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can with a personalized answer. Bye bye.